Hi, I'm Tom Welcome, and we're live here in the ASUG News Studio, sponsored by NTT Data, and we are broadcasting from SAP Tech Ed and Decode Conference in Las Vegas. Couldn't be happier to have Graham Robinson in the new studio. Graham, welcome. Thank you, Tom. You came all the way from... I'm from Sydney, Australia. From Sydney to be here. I had to tell you that, didn't you? you, you I thought the, you were the from... The accent didn't give it away. I thought you were from New Jersey. No, I'm no, afraid not. No, okay. <laughs> so you are with Yel Yelcho Systems. Yelcho is the name of my company, yes, but I'm essentially an independent developer. So this is, this is the place to be for you. You've got to be a tech head, absolutely. Absolutely, okay. So we're going to talk about SAP UI5. For the person who doesn't know anything about UI5, like me, Yep. what is it? What, what, what does every customer, SAP customer, need to know about this? Well, I guess the first thing they need to know is it's very much, if, it's not, if they aren't already um, in touch with it, they, it's very much in their future. SAP's go-to technology for user interfaces, really, going forward. And it's essentially a JavaScript library or framework, depending on your definition of library and frameworks, mm -hmm. for building responsive user interfaces. So it's the it's the library and technology that all the Fiori apps that everyone's probably mm -hmm. seen that sit on top of. So it enables that. And is it a new thing? Well the technology itself isn't new, but I guess it's relatively new for SAP mm -hmm. to, have, to have built their own library and released it. They've open sourced most of it as well, so it's known as the Open UI5 library, so it's available for everyone, not just SAP customers, to download and start building things with. Well that's really interesting because one of the underlying themes here, right, is, is SAP trying to open up and be... Yeah, absolutely. More open. Um, this here, is it, give me your perspective on whether this is kind of catching on with, with in, inside the SAP community. Well I think in the, in the community generally, certainly supports um, SAP and particularly the open source community mm -hmm. like to see SAP do that. SAP have long talked about um, openness and things like that, but, it, but essentially it's never been quite visible to most people how mm -hmm. they're involved with that. So this is certainly a very visible example of them contributing to the open source community and supporting that community and, and getting out there. So visibility is good and hopefully uh, we'll see more of it in the future. So how do you work with SAP? What, I mean, I know you're on Twitter, you are a, a prolific and... Uh, I wouldn't go prolific, I, I tweet when I have something to tweet. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's always good. Um, <laughs> What, um, how do you interact with SAP on this? What do you work with them on? Yeah, so I, well I'm an independent developer, so, so primarily I'm building user interfaces. I have been for about 10 or 12 years um, building web user interfaces to SAP using varying technologies and UI5 is the latest part of it. So, so I guess in terms of the whole stack process, that means we expose APIs using the gateway mm -hmm. functionality out of our ABAP system and then we consume them with uh, the user interface that's built with the UI5. So I'm, I'm developing in ABAP, and JavaScript primarily. I love the way you say ABAP, by the way. ABAP, <laughs> as opposed to ABAP. <laughs> yes. Tom, Tom Young will kill me. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so you mentioned Fiori apps are being designed on this. Yeah. Are there other, I mean, are, are we going to be seeing a refactoring of the other apps that we have for UI5, or is it just going forward, they're not going to look I, back? You'll certainly see lots of people building their own. So SAP are delivering the Fiori apps using that technology, but people like me, and, uh, and, and lots of other people in the ecosystem will be building their own apps using this technology. It's mm -hmm. just a, it's a, it's a, it's a very complete and in many respects feature rich um, set of uh, controls for linking with OData, which is what um, SAP is using for pretty much all their interfaces. So just, it just takes a lot of the complexity away for the developer. Right. So you uh, have given a session, you're giving another session, I think. Doing it again tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah. What uh, do you hope people who go to your session will walk away with? Like, what are the one or two things you really want to impress upon them about UI5? Yeah, the, well the big thing about my session is it's very much for beginners. So I literally start with, this is what HTML is and work my way through to, this is what the UI5 library is and where it fits into the technology stack. So it's not a session where I'm going to teach you all the wonderful things about UI5. It's designed just to socialize it, so you walk out knowing what it is, where it fits, why it's important, and, and the problems that it solves. Right. Well, Graham, thank you very much for coming in. It's it was been a great pleasure. to have you. We will have you back again. Good luck traveling back to New Jersey, yeah. to your home. It's a long way to New Jersey. Long way to go. <laughs> Thanks, Graham. Thank you. For more customer stories, please go to asubnews.com. You did it. Thanks, man. Awesome.